Welcome Ridge Life. I'm Tim and today on Ramblings, guys, I am not on the ridge. I am at San Suchi Landing in Osceola, Arkansas on the big mighty Mississippi. Well, if you look at it right now, the big mighty Mississippi look like it's going dry. There is sandbars as far as you can see all the way across a uh, little bit low it's actually come up a little bit from where it was but uh it's still flowing hard on this side the channels over here we can see we got barge work going on over there they're uh, loading barges and uh, there are steel mills all around this is mississippi county just north here we got um, Nucor steel we got Nucor Yamato, we got Big River Steel, and uh, all kinds of smaller steel producers in the area. This, I believe, this is the largest steel producing county in the United States. You're like, what about up in Pittsburgh and all those areas up there? No, we got it going on in the Mid-South now, guys. Speaking of got it going on, I got it going on this morning. It was rough. I, I've been fighting a toothache, you know, for months now, and I thought it kind of got a little better after a, a round of antibiotics, but it um, didn't quite work out that way. Uh, it started hurting on me real, real bad, and I tried to get into the endodontist to do a, a root canal, that's what my uh, uh, dentist had recommended, and um, they couldn't get me in until January 23rd. So my dentist got, uh, prescribed me some more antibiotics, and some painkillers and man it was just hurting so so bad well the endodontist called and said they could get me in today not, not have to wait all the way to 23rd i was praying the night before because it was hurting so bad well they got me in took the day off and i were it's two hours to an in-network endodontist so i had to go all the way over to jonesboro arkansas to get to an endodontist and uh uh, he hooked me up. I, I had to drive two hours this morning. Got there at uh, 7.45. Got there about 7.30 actually before they even opened. And uh, I was already hurting. I was hurting this morning when I got up. And uh, he got in there. When I, what a root canal is, guys. This the, it was on my top back mower over here. It, uh, that big mower's got three roots in it. And... Uh, what had happened, then, there's a nerve that runs up each of those three roots and coalesces right in the, um, what do they call it, the pupa, pupa, whatever, uh, the center of your tooth. And uh, the, that nerve coalesced, well, the nerve up there had apparently died at some point. And uh, that was the initial pain I was feeling some time back. Well, it starts to uh, decay and die deeper and deeper into the tooth till it gets to the bone. And guys, this may be a little gross for some of you. And it starts to deteriorate the bone down there. And it's an infection. It creates an abscess. And that abscess fills with pus. I'm talking nastiness, okay? And that's what the endodontist said. Uh, he said, when I get in here, it's got, that pressure is going to release, and it, it actually may smell. <laughs> so, okay, I didn't even know that. Um, but he started drilling into that, and um, the pressure released. Oh, and uh, it just wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. Now, he had numbed me up, and you know, the, 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 the big needle on this side, the big needle on this side, and uh, that, that hurt a little bit, you know. Uh, they call it pressure i call it pain and uh, he started drilling down in there cleaning out that root and uh, i was hoping i was like man please just just get this over with because i was i was ready to pull that tooth myself because it was it was hurting so bad but uh cleaned it all out and uh um filled those three roots all the way down and uh packed it and then filled, that was a crown up there, so we had to do a re, rebuild that crown a little bit. I thought they would cut that crown off and I would get a new crown, no. They just drilled a hole right in the center of that crown and then they filled that crown and uh, make it like good as new. Did not know that was gonna happen. So, um, I said, because the pain, it actually, the, 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 the medicine started wearing off during it. <laughs> I was just grinning and bearing. He said, almost done, about 10 minutes left. So I grinned and bear it. And then uh, 
got done, I said, uh, he said, he prescribes me more antibiotics. And uh, I said, can you do anything for the pain? Cause you don't, I'm, I'm a wimpy guy, you know? We're not strong like them women are. And uh, women, you guys rock. And uh, he said, we are not allowed by law to prescribe the opioids anymore. He said, actually, I'll get in trouble here in Arkansas if I prescribe that to you. I was like, wow. Uh, he said, uh, take, take some ibuprofen or Tylenol, you know, or uh, uh, leave. I said, okay. Uh, and I said, before I was even leaving, I was hurting. And uh, I'm hurting so bad right now, guys. It started swollen a little bit. I don't know if you can tell my cheek, it's swollen a little bit. Um, but uh, he said, give it a day or two and uh, stay on those antibiotics and uh, that should clear all that up. But guys, I, I'm a wimpy guy, you know? Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. What commercial is that from? <laughs> um, but I'm gonna be all right, but I'm just glad that uh, that was all cleared up. I should have done it months ago. And, uh, but you know, guys, we like to put things off. We don't like to go to the doctor, don't like to go to the dentist and all that stuff. I just should, if you're having issues, take care of them. because You never know what it's gonna be. Look where we're at, guys. I'm walking you down to the river here. I'm gonna walk you over to this barge here in a second. Mighty Mississippi. God, goodness gracious. I'm gonna have a seat right here on these rocks. Ugh. Look at this. And guys, the water actually looks pretty clear. Normally you always hear about the muddy Mississippi and man, when it rains and uh, storms come through and all the creeks and tributaries feed into the, the river, it does get very, very muddy. But right now, actually I'm gonna walk you down a little bit closer and let you take a look at it. looks pretty clear doesn't it man the water is moving hard and fast out there in the center though it is moving hard and this is like a little eddy right here kind of this little cove and it's kind of spinning around but it is moving hard check out somebody been down here shooting fireworks off but look at this little sandbar right here I haven't been down the Mississippi River like this in a long time matter of fact Ginger and I this is one of the first places we came when we, uh, our first uh, date, our second date actually, uh, came down here in uh, San Chuchi Landy. So this is kind of a special place for us. This little sandbar right here. Nice little sandbar. I can see the kids coming down here playing, but man, I would not, I would not swim. I would not do, <laughs> I grew up on, on a lake, right? I, I'm used to lake fishing, lake swimming. This mighty Mississippi is, is a beast. It is, it is a God created beast. It is so strong. I know on video you cannot see how hard that's moving, but the water is going this way. But look what I got over here. There is a runoff. Check this out, guys. Just look at this runoff. that's a runoff from there's nothing up really right there but 
pretty cool, but I'm gonna walk you over to this old barge. And uh, this is actually a smaller barge, but when I walk up to it, you're gonna see how huge, huge it is. I'm gonna get stuck in this quicksand here. Mighty Mississippi. But um, got some antibiotics in me. I uh, do got some ibuprofen and uh, I'm hoping it starts to, I'm touching the inside of my gum line where that big tooth is and it's so swollen right now. Let's see if I can get up here. Ooh, There's some shackles, some cables. I can use that. I can use that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here, but when I get up on this barge, you're gonna like, whoa, Tim, that thing's huge. I never knew a river barge was that big. It's out of the water, guys. Completely out of the water. Let's see if I can get up here without slipping in this mud. Bank's getting kind of steep, steep on me. I got my uh, river walking Crocs on. <laughs> Special river walking Crocs, right? You gotta have them when you're on the river get up here on this bank got the uh, beast f-250 back up see started way up there walked all the way down I'll walk back with you uh, Jin Jin's at work so after I got out of the uh, endodontist got my root canal I came over here at Osceola waiting for her to get off work figured I'd record a ramblings with you <laughs> you ought to see this piece of driftwood up here, guys. Oh, uh, once, once I get closer, I'll, ouch, I'll show you. <laughs> Slip in this mud. <laughs> ah, oh, deer tracks. Yeah, there's deer tracks. Very cool. Oh, my goodness. So I can get down here. Oh, I got mud all over. Okay. Getting closer. The rain here some ball look at check this out check this big old big old driftwood here that sucker it's huge Talking about huge, look at that barge. That is a Mississippi River barge, guys. They load that with like um, hundreds of tons of steel and push it up and down the river. And uh, that's how you get steel for your buildings and, and your washing machines, your dryers and all that. Let's see if I can get up a little closer on it. And uh, there's all this driftwood that got piled up in front of it. Let's see if I can get up here without falling down my, my booyah caca, as David would say. Ooh. Whoa, this has got a hole in it. This thing hadn't been used in a long, long time. It's got a huge gash inside of it. You can see down there, that big green claw thing. They're loading barges down there. Pretty cool guys pretty cool i'm gonna get out of here before i get in trouble ah <sighs> oh, man but uh yeah so as soon as jen jen gets off work uh she's gonna take off work a little bit early i believe and uh she's gonna take care of her baby her baby with a sore face she takes good care of me guys in case you ever wondered is tim being taken care of jen jen takes real good care of me I got no complaints there. 
Wow, look at that, isn't that cool? It just, wow! Actually, you might make a thumbnail right there. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Look at this, guys. Just amazing. Just amazing. Well, today is Wednesday. Um, last night's live was fun. I was uh, suffering through the, 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 the tooth pain. Had a little sipping cream. You know, normally I don't do that. I did a little last week with a cough, but <laughs> not going to be a habit, guys. Not going to be a habit. Um, and uh, this Friday, Jen and I are going to Conway, Arkansas. And... Uh, visit her daughter and then we're gonna go to uh mount magazine stay at the state park lodge there and invite all the family over and uh, hopefully have a nice dinner a little uh, family christmas celebration then hopefully sunday i get to go over and um, take jen to see the 41.36 for the first time and then go over to come on mountain for the first time i believe we want to get back um to arkansas because her friends are having a, a christmas party here so we may just do a whole weekend of christmas parties and um sharing the love sharing the joy of christmas hopefully that's what you guys are doing as well um i think the, just in the time I've walked down here and got my blood pumping, I think that medicine has, has cycled through and I think it's feeling a little bit better because I was really hurting when I started this video and uh, now I feel a lot better. <laughs> Hopefully I don't uh, 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 get a little delusional. And of course, Tim, you're always delusional. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna walk all the way back up there and see if I can do that without slipping and falling this Mississippi River. And if, if, I, if, I, if you don't see this video, uh if you're finding this video know that i love you guys um but if you if i actually get it published you know i made it back if you're watching this in in retrospect on the life of tim from ridge life as he as he lost his footing and fell into the river and someone just found this waterproof gopro and uh, this is lost footage i love my kids i love my grandbaby and i love all of you <laughs> So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Live.